I moved into the Garden Plaza subdivision in May of 1988 after purchasing the home for my mother and I in March of the same year. We had no knowledge whatsoever that this land was previously a toxic waste landfill. Having played on this site as a kid, I only related to it as the dump. After being informed that this was a toxic waste landfill, my American dream quickly became a nightmare. This was when our fight for justice and liberation began. We've lost a number of people to various types of cancers, including breast cancer. Many suffer from respiratory issues and skin irritations. On one block, five people developed cancer and three of them died as a result of it. According to the tumor registry, my neighborhood is the second highest cancer causing neighborhood in the state of Louisiana. It is imperative that we keep this fight for justice alive. After being failed by five mayors, including Mitch Landrew, who allocated and spent $40 million on crime cameras, it is apparent that we are not a priority and have been put on the back burner. The consensus amongst the residents is, if there were one white person living in the neighborhood, we would have been relocated. People's Assembly of New Orleans has been actively involved in helping us get this matter resolved. The continued agony and death inflicted upon the people of this community must stop. We will continue our fight for a fully funded relocation and will not stop until justice is served.